You're in over your head. You have to evolve or you just die. Let the games begin. Have you made the choice? Are you ready to evolve? Well, that aside, welcome back to Prey. Last set, I blew myself up a few times. But it's okay, because we found Aaron Ingram, who is number 09-something-something. He is not 37, who is like 010-something-something. Hey, Aaron, are you ready to evolve? Evolve the right way, Aaron. Evolve the right way. Or die! I was tempted to shoot him, but I didn't want to load up the game again. We also gained access to the armory, which gave us these guns that we're probably going to go and melt down. Also, I'm going to go and make a bow and some foam darts. Why am I going to make some foam darts instead of foam darts? Well, that's very simple. It's so I can open doors from a distance. Like that door. Because there is a door that's above What's-His-Face's office that we didn't open. But we should open it, because there's probably loot in it. You need to be quiet. Should I change position? Stop asking me weird questions like that. It's bizarre. <laughs> so, I had a thought. That little, um, weaver thing that's floating around in that big aquarium thing. It's been there since 1965. You want to know how I know? Because of, uh, this. The Weaver footage that we watched. That was in 1965. This station has actually been here for longer than it might have been reported. Hmm. Or I could be just remembering incorrectly. Which is quite possible. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of creepy. That thing has been there for 60 years because it's like 2030 or something. I just got a frame rate dip. Oh, pfft. I made darts, but I didn't make the bow thingy. You need the huntress. You see, this door in particular, we need to open it. There's a weapon mod kit in there, and I want it. Uh, the, the. Equip. Reload it. Oh, I'm ready for some hardcore nerf action. Zoom. Zoom. What? Boink. Oh, I got it. Door go open. Yes, please. Q beam. No wave. Ooh, ooh, yes. Weapon upgrades. I love those. Anything else? Or is this just a bit of a sparse room? I don't think it is. I don't want that. Want this. Oh, glue. Yes, I'll take all that stuff. Mm, yes. Yes, I, I like it all. I think it'd be worth a bit more in this room, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe not. No, I don't want to relock the door. Go back. Mitsuko Tokaji. Oh, this is this person's terminal. Okay, let's put this away. Didn't taste like chicken. Mitsuko, I need a report on 37's condition in my transcribe ASAP. Out of that psycho is the luckiest prisoner in orbit, or worse. We've got some problem in what we're feeding the Typhon. And that can't happen again. Morgan said something about wanting to question 37, but that's a low priority. He was practically unresponsive before. If nothing pans out, I'm going to prep 37 for an encephalectomy. Or echophilectomy. I don't know. Helen Barker Cone. We shot her in the medical ward, didn't we? Or what's left of her. Reply, implant mirror neurons in Typhons. Ooh, we, we, um, we read a transcribe thing about that, or listened to one of them. From Mitsuko Takaji. I'm going to bring it up again. Next R&D meeting. Will you support me? Oh, it's to Morgan Yu. Or from him. Sure. Alex will probably shoot it down, but say the idea gets off the ground. Still have two big questions to answer. What's the test environment? And whose neurons are we talking about putting in them? Volunteers are a no-go. Well, I'm not sure the 
the Typhon creatures would like you cramming someone's brain matter into them either. Then again, they seem perfectly inclined to take it, too. Is that what I need to do? I think it is. Oh, that was so creepy. I thought that was a creature walking by. But it wasn't. It was just you! Weirdo. Now, the next place we should be going is... The Live Exam Morgue. Morgu. I just heard something creepy. No. Shotgun. Yes, please. That just seems blatantly there to be strange. I'm not entirely sure how to quantify it because I don't know. It seems like a booby trap. I don't. I, maybe it's just me being video game silly. Hello? I was afraid of this. The scientists you were? here were in the middle of something when they died. Oh, yeah. Access to the gut is closed off died. during experiments. Security protocol. You'll have to finish what they started. Back in the 60s and the 70s, guns? the first research teams tried to communicate with the Typhon. But this proved impossible. Did they shock them? Their cerebral structures are highly developed and intentional, but somehow unapproachable. It's probably because they're they aliens. Have no speech of their own, no language. Oh, they're like they don't bugs then. They see us. Not like we see ourselves, I mean. Well, yeah, I don't think you see I'm yourself as food. when I say us. Of course, I'm not a person. Yeah, not you like robot. You. Shut up, you don't understand how people feel. Live exam procedure in progress. Oh, really? Local lockdown in effect until procedure terminates. I'm pretty sure it's a dead exam. But um, tss. The chair fell over laughing. <laughs> or maybe it was just trying to strike me for being so terrible. This looks like it's supposed to open. It really looks like it's supposed to open, and that's that fishbowl that the weaver is in. It's been in there for 60 years. Hello, Ruby Stone. We have a Psy Hypo plan. I don't need that, but it's nice to have. Speed scan? Uh, yes. I would love to speedily scan things. I hope that's what it is. <laughs> I see you. Sorry. I, I couldn't help it. So these places are locked down. I just imagine because the door is red, it means it won't open. Or it's been, like, satan from Doom 3. Because Satan likes to Satan things in Doom 3. I should probably stop saying that. Engineer operators remaining, I'm however one is... Oh. Apparently there's one already floating around. What you doing down there, engineering operator? Are you engineering things? Hmm. Why did engineering operators fart? Well, maybe that's not a fart. Beeping and worrying, yes. I don't trust those. They're like all over the place. Nope, nothing. Bink. Hmm. When I begin to doubt my own scanning software, there's an issue. Ah, there is one! There's two! Ooh. I know you're in there. Come out with your tendrils up. It sounds pretty pissy. Hello. Apparently he didn't know it was there, even though it was directly in front of it. Maybe it didn't perceive me the way I perceived it. I perceived it with a shotgun blast! Where's the other one? I should stop shouting, it's like 12 o'clock at night. Again, maybe I shouldn't be as mindful of my noise when other people aren't. I don't know, maybe I'm just not mean enough. Where'd that other mimic go? Life specimen required for scanning. You don't say. Coming through. No. I'm standing here. What is that? That was nothing. Hey, whoop. I thought that was the engineering operator, but it wasn't. Where'd he go? You. Hey. Inspector. Your suit suffered some wear and tear. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Also, I forgot to scan you. 
Research complete. Zoom in and research. My creepy suit knows more about you now, and it will tell me in a moment. Whoop. Creepy suit, what do you have to say about it? You should have pushed J. Ah, research. The engineering operator. Let's try that again. Engineering operator. Excerpt from Transstar Operator Brochure. Designed with precision craftsmanship for the dangerous vacuum of space. Few utility robots can measure up to the Transstar Cobalt 410 Engineering Class Operator. Equipped with two GenSense manipulators and a swappable utility arm with a full array of tools, there's little the engineering operator can't fix. For more heavy-duty work, each engineering operator comes standard with industrial-grade omni-navigational systems, capable of deftly maneuvering cargo containers in zero-g environments. Morgan's Notes Can be found wandering the station, especially in the lower decks. Good for patching up holes in my suit. Weaknesses Robot weaknesses, including explosions and smashing. Mm, I'm quite capable of that. I will pay attention to you exploding! That was a little bit too hostile. I'll dial it back. I'll pay attention to you clunking into a wall. That didn't make sense. Oh well. Mean! You shouldn't do that. It'll make me shoot you. Every look, I'm a turret. I'm hostile. There's a mimic tumor. It's like a mimic creates a paradox duplicate of something. How it can control. Hello? I saw you fidget! It was scared of me. It knew I'd shoot it. And it was right. I realized that I had two weapon mod kits that I need to use. What can we upgrade on the shotgun? Oh, upgrading damage, no question. Yes. My shotgun can shotgun things with more shotgun. Mm, oh, I guess we can increase the accuracy on this. What's this Mac ac Mac? Max accuracy. 85? I kind of wish that it had a... um. A percentage out to how far, like 85% at th at 30 meters or something like that. Man, no. Maybe I'm getting too technical. Adjustment required. Yeah, you do need an attitude adjustment, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to. Oh, see, I'm an idiot email. I don't need to read that. Mod malfunctions. Remember how funny I found Alvin Broyles movies up until I had that second Combinatorix Neuromod installed? Now they can't even elicit a chuckle. I'm not imagining this, am I? I did enjoy them, right? Haley isn't happy about it. Ever since she scrutinized my every move. How much hot sauce I use. Where I put my shoes before bed. Shit. Even my handwriting. You'd say you're still the same person you were before the mods been in, went in. Wouldn't you? Rory. Shut up! You're yelling at random objects, not even me! <laughs> Stupid robots. Well, neuromods do affect the way your brain chemistry works, so yes, it could essentially make you into a different person. I mean, adjusting some neurons in somebody's head could effectively change their personality. I mean, that's not too big of a jump in logic in my mind. Is this the morgue? Hello, morgue. Ew. Ew. Ew, it's like something out of Dawn of the Dead. No. I think I know where the mimics came from. Why would you make mimics? Ooh, that's where the thingy is. How do I get that? Do I dart the door? I think I do. You shush. I'm going to commit vandalism now. I must have hit it with a shard of glass. You have plenty of room. Shush. Weirdo. Boop. 
Ah. Yeah. ah, door opened. I am a genius. Or rather, I just read the details of the fact that this thing can open stuff. I probably shouldn't have opened this, but you never know. There might be awesome things to be had in here. Are you making that noise? This is a little bit unsettling. I am unsettled. That didn't squeak when I picked it up. Sylvan Bellamy. This isn't the first time a Typhon organism has broken containment. Oh, really? It happened before, shortly after your initial like neuromont tests. You and Alex fought about terminating the project, evacuating. But Alex insisted he could control the situation. That's when you began you implementing could. secret contingencies, hiding the plan for your arming key, videos, the January protocol. Oops. Your concerns have proven to be correct. Well, my concerns have proven to be correct. Blah, blah, blah. Stuff is broken containment. Why are they using humans for the Typhon creatures to propagate? Why don't they try animals? I haven't heard anything about that yet. Morg. <gasps> Could I have turned into the Morg key and scanned myself over here? <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> Who needs a key when you are the key? <clears throat> I'm sure I can break all the other glass, but that glass is extra duty glass like super glass oh, I thought there was something hostile on my screen but it was just the recording numbers I'm still unsettled I feel like there should be more going on here but there isn't probably just a mess with me hey you're supposed to be searched when you're dead at least they gave you your last meals I suppose last meals that you never got to enjoy Ugh. We know you're moving around. I kind of feel like the dialogue procs in this game are a little bit too aggressive. I feel like things talk too often and too much. Most of the time, uh, if you want someone to not talk a lot and be annoying, you give them a, a fairly long cooldown before they say something again. At least, I imagine that's what you would do. Kind of like, um, oh, just, did anyone ever have the companion from, um, Fallout that had the French accent that talked non-stop and had hugely long lines of dialogue and was super loud because they had that metallic modifier over their voice? Ugh. That's the definition of an NPC that talks way too much. I'm just complaining to complain now. I know it. Complete the live examination procedure. Hang on. My mission changed slightly. Now I'm gonna have some of this, uh... Let's see, Sparlight cookies? Those sound like those butter cookies that are amazing. I think they're like Danish butter cookies or Swedish butter cookies or something like that. I, I don't remember. All I know is that they're really good. Damn it! I'm not leaving without my snack. There we go. That's better. Okay, Phantom Genesis. Ew! I didn't even read this. What's wrong with me? Live experiment. No, it's not a live exam. It's a dead one now. Already made that joke. Please ensure there's a cadaver. See? Dead. In the enclosure. And activate psychoscopes. Prior to opening containment cylinder. Wimp. Okay, psychoscope is active. It's buzzing. Warning. Activate psychoscopes before initiating experimental procedures. Open containment shield. <gasps> No, I will not deploy Null Wave. Probably. Hmm. Yeah, let's Null Wave it. Let's see what happens. Actually, we're going to save in case I do this out of order and I miss something cool. I don't like missing cool beans. I don't think anyone likes missing cool stuff. Deploy the Null Wave. Okay. 
Nope, nope, nope. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Did it wrong. I did it wrong. I thought that this was gonna open. Oh, I shouted again. I thought that this was gonna open. It just looked like it would open. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh no, that does not butt up to that at all. Oh my goodness, that is not good. No me gusta. That thing is out there and it is a weaver and it will weave me with weaving. At least I saved. Open the containment shield! Containment shield open. Whoa! Scan it! Scan it quickly before it murders me! Hang on, hang on, hang on! No, 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 no! I need to, I need, I need to see how cool it is! In just a moment! It's a Voltaic Phantom. Voltaic Phantoms are cool! Research. Voltaic Phantom. Error. Unknown Typhon organism. No entries found. Please contact Dr. Hans Kelstrup, Director of Psychotronics. Weaknesses, EMP. Really? Well, that is weird. Null wave, psychic. Midi's electric and stun. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 no! I need a null wave thing! Uh, 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 null wave! Yes, I have one of these. Warning. Examination theater compromised. <laughs> Warning. Down on the ground! People are quick to project human features onto things they don't understand. The Typhon kill us without hesitation. But it's not because they're evil. It's because they can't do otherwise. You know what are they we machines? discovered? They lack mirror neurons. All their wonderful abilities. There's they one can't thing think? we can do that they can't. Empathize with the suffering of another living creature. Okay, so they have no empathy. They just act. They're like bugs. Mm. Or machines, I suppose. I wonder if that means they have feelings of their own. Can I open that containment shield again? I'm going to. This thing's making noises. Now, are you going to pop out so I can shoot you? He's playing that sound effect again. No, I cannot blap you. Right, there's still noise going on in there, and it consumed the corpse to make a phantom. I think that's one of the abilities that we can get. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Door opened up down that way. What does this door open up? Let's get away from the weird base step. Whoa. Uh-oh. Someone's throwing stuff away. Or throwing stuff around like a child on a tantrum. That phantom just appeared. I saw that. Hello? That's what... Why is this thing turning red? It's flickering red. See? It's red right there. What is that? What is that? Is that a phantom? That must be a ghost. Uh, ow! Or is it invisible? I think it just tried to shoot me. It's a regular phantom, but... Um, it wasn't visible. It wasn't. Uh-oh. I'm hearing piano music. This is not a good thing. When you hear creepy, plinky, plunky piano, that means bad stuff is about to happen. Like, seriously, bad juju. 
I don't trust that at all. That was weird. What does that say? Zero gravity transition. Caution. Oh, there's no gravity in there. What if we turned on gravity? Would it get squished? Gletkla. Reinforced access door. Okay. What does this say? Typhon Cacoplasma. Apparently there are 12 in the chamber. Typh- Oh, there are 12 mimics and one weaver. Typhon Dysmorpha. Poltergeist. Currently in- Well, we don't know where that is. Psychoscope required. Proceed with caution. Oh, I will have all the caution. I will be, like, covered in caution tape. In fact, I'm so cautious that I saved my game. Can't get more cautious than that. Grounding resistor. Oh. I don't know where that is. I'm going to leave it alone. It's a thing. Ah. For the Emperor! It's just Scully. He's a bit of a bud. Tearl extraction. Wait, did I go in a circle? What? Went around. Okay, there's the armory, and that's the door. Are you still in the corner? Yes, you are. Okay. I wonder if a null wave transmitter will make that thing appear so I can scan it. Oh, I'm such a dummy! Why didn't I? Blech, blech. I forgot something. I forgot something really simple. This. Let's get rid of that stupid fear reactor. And it's time for my favorite noise ever. Yes. All right. Did I save it enough? I'm gonna save it again just in case. Super saved. Wait, this is still closed. I used to wish we weren't alone in the universe. Well, you are alone, and you'll only ever be alone. Because no one wants you. Now go be a good ghost and disappear. I forgot to loot that. What's wrong with me? Or maybe I already looted it, but Dr. it respawned yeah. stuff. Hello. Yes? Hello. Is there way through that to here? Where am I going? I want to get to that lab thing that's over there, but how? Okay, that's the lower morgue, so there's nothing up there. Can I go up to level 3 and down to it? How do I get in there? That bugs me. I want in that weird place. I want to scan the poltergeist. I want to see what superpowers I can get from it. Ooh, that reminds me. I'm forgetting, like, everything. Energy. Electrostatic burst. Generate an electrostatic burst that deals up to 25 damage within 3 meters of the targeted area. Additionally, the burst disrupts equipment, stuns robotic targets for 3 seconds, and stuns biological targets for 2 seconds. Or if it's a human, I think it just knocks them out. It deals more damage and is bigger! It deals even more damage and is giant! That's nice. Electrostatic resistance. Ooh. I like that. Absorption. Ooh, that's cool. I like those. I like those a lot. I haven't enhanced my kinetic blast. My brain bolt, that's what I called it. Brain bolt. How do I get in here? Are you supposed to hit the button with an object or something? I'm talking the, the, the phantom here. It knows I'm there. It's trying to push stuff against me. You see that creeping around? It's not a mimic. At least I'm pretty sure it isn't. Door, why don't you open? How? I'm really confused. Is there a remote terminal around here or something? Door control. Mimic manipulation. I was wondering if I tried to activate some of the stuff in here that would open that door for, like, processing or something. 